Hey guys, it's Bench175 and I wanted to make a video on how to get an expert score on the Marine Corps Pistol Qualification. They're also called the Marine Corps Combat Pistol Program. So I kind of have a setup so I can show you um, what you have to do and then how, how you do it or how I did it. So this is my uh, scorecard. You can see on the bottom here it says there's a total or a max score of 400 points. To get expert, you have to get 364 points. Each round that you shoot has a max value of 10 points, and so you'll be shooting 40 rounds uh, throughout the qualification. Uh, I have the target here, and I can show you. There's a bowling pin shape, so it goes from here, goes up, around and then around the chest. And uh, this, this whole bowling pin shape, shape is 10 points. Outside of that right here is eight points. Outside of that here is six. And then anywhere else on the body is four points. So when I did my qualification, I was able to get a perfect score, 400 points. And I'll show you my target real quick. So you tape up after the 15 yards and after the seven yards so you can see all my taped up shots and then these are the last eight shots at 25 yards this one was my worst shot obviously um, but it did break the 10 line so according to the rules you get a 10 on that you can see uh, here's a seven yard group and you'll take 16 shots here another 16 at 15 yards and then eight shots at 25 yards so when you take the qualification, you'll have your Marpats on. They'll give you a holster. In my case, it was a Blackhawk Serpa holster. Two magazines. Um, the, your M9, Beretta M9, and um, 40 rounds for... I can't remember if it was exactly 40. I think it was 40 rounds for the qualification. So here I have exactly how the qualification goes. At 7 yards, um, you'll start with your Beretta with the in the holster with the safety on and two magazines um, so one in it that has that had a 14 and one that has nine in a magazine pouch um, so that's another thing they give you you'll take two shots uh, from the holster and they give you five seconds to do it so they'll say stand by and then target and then at that time you can uh, reach for your gun, aim it, and take two shots, and uh, they give you five seconds to do that. And so you'll do that a total of three times. So that's a total of six, six rounds for that test right there. And then this keeps going. It's pretty simple. Um, the next one is failure to stop from the holster. So that'll be two shots to the body and then one shot to the head so that's three shots and then you do that two times so there's your six rounds they give you seven seconds um, and then for this last part at seven yards you'll, do, you'll have two in the weapon and then you'll have to take your two shots um, drop the mag do a speed reload and then take your last two shots uh, for the last shots at seven yards and it tells you here fill your mag with seven so now you'll be at 15 yards you'll have seven in the weapon and seven in your pouch in your magazine pouch and then you take two shots from the holster they give you seven uh, six seconds this time because you're a little bit farther away and you'll do that a total of six times after the third drill, you have to do a tactical reload. So you'll have seven in the weapon means one in the chamber, six in the magazine. So after you do your first uh, three rounds of this, your magazine will be empty. So um, you'll have to remember that after the first, after the third drill, you need to reload. You need to take out the empty mag and put in your fresh mag. And then you finish this round, and then you fill your empty mag with uh, 10 more rounds. At this step, um, 
you'll have two in the weapon so they want you to do a speed reload again so after you draw take your two shots do a speed reload take your other two shots after that so after the 15 yards you'll only have eight left for these last eight shots you actually don't have to draw from the holster and you get to shoot the beretta in single action so i'll, I'll show you real quick what that means uh, so on your M9 is your M9 is double action single action, which means uh, after you drew it from the holster, it'll you're supposed to have the safety on. So you'll take the safety off. At that point, your your hammer will be forward. And so when you pull the trigger, it's going to be a long trigger pull. Watch my hammer. The hammer is going to go back and forward, which makes it double action, meaning. You're, with the trigger you're making the hammer go backward and forward on these last shots you're allowed to, to cock the hammer so the trigger pull is going to be a lot different it's going to be very light not as light as this one because this is a highly modified uh, Breda 92 it's actually or it's a elite LTT and uh, those last shots will be really light so it'll make them a little bit easier at the 25 yards I kind of skimmed over this, but most of your shots, I think, will actually be in single action mode because uh, after you take the safety off and you take your first shot, this is what it's going to happen because the slide's going to go backward. Is after your first shot, the the slide will go back, and it'll keep, it'll knock your hammer in the cocked position, so that way every shot after your first shot is just a single action pull. See that? Look at the reset though on this guy, it's crazy. Okay, so the rest of this video is gonna be for someone who's new to Berettas or new from drawing from the holster like I was when I took the exam. Um, so the, the day before the actual shooting, you'll do a bunch of dry fire practice. And so that's a, that's, I took that whole time to um, get really familiar with drawing and handling the Beretta, so I'll show you how. This one is a little is a little different from the ones you'll get, the M9s, because this one doesn't have a safety. I prefer my handguns not to have safeties on them. And so every time you draw from the holster, you'll have to flick that switch up and off, and you'll expose the red dot, which means red for dead, and then uh, you can go onto fire. This one, the safety is always off. You can't put a safety on this one. And um, here we have the magazine release button. Here we have the slide release. Obviously the trigger, an ex external hammer, and your sights. So on the dry fire day, you want to spend some time learning um, how you'll want, how you're going to grip it. Uh, like usual, put your hand all the way up, um, up to the beaver tail. Grip it. As hard as you would a hammer you don't want a death grip because it's going to make you shake so just hold it firmly and then how i like to do it is i, I put my support hand just like this and my thumb will be resting on the frame and it my other fingers will wrap around just like that so on the dry fire day you're going to want to practice your presentation and just how I did it is I always aimed for the, the top of this chest crease right here. For stance, I like to use a modified weaver stance where my feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width. And my dominant side is about a half step back. Because I feel like the most stable in this position for like for a single target. And uh, they give you a, a Serpa holster which has a finger release. So... When you go down to grip, you'll be, you'll press the release and then you can draw. I don't have one, so I'm replicating a Serpa with my Omnivore holster in my pocket. So what you do is you go down, get most of your grip, hit the release with your index finger. And while keeping your index finger straight, then you can unholster. Still keeping your finger straight. Get to about 45 degrees. And then hit the safety switch to turn off the safety then ideally you meet about in the middle and your support hand meets you about in the middle where once you get once you've practiced your grip with on your right hand um 
you'll get comfortable with this and then the trigger guard is going to hit about right behind this knuckle right here about right here so you'll meet in the middle that hits your, your support hand can fall into place with your uh, thumb resting on on the frame and then you go when you go to to uh, get your side alignment you want your front sight slightly higher than your rear sight and you want your your front sight to fall into that rear sight just like that if you um unholster and go straight like this out and then meet up here your hand your you might lose your front sight as you're doing that and then it'll take even longer to get your sight right where you where you want it then you can take your shots and then when you're finished shooting, put your safety uh, back on. For your double action pulls, you're going to want to do what I think Ernest Langdon calls rolling or uh, stroking the, the trigger. Which means, okay, so it's, it's heavy, but you don't want to pre-stack it, pre-load it like this, and then wait for your target to, to get into your sights and then pull the trigger. Because if you keep your gun on uh, your sights on the target and just do one stroke I think you you can keep your hand pretty steady except when you stop halfway like this what happens in my experience is your finger starts to shake and then your hand starts to shake and then your accuracy is off so try to do the try to do the double action pull in one smooth pull while you have your sights on so I'm gonna try and show that real quick so have your sights on and then one smooth pull that fires it. So a little bit on how to take those single action shots, especially at 25 yards. Remember, uh, as at the 25 yards, you get to be in the low ready position and you get to use your thumb like this and pull the hammer back. So that way the trigger is only in single action and it'll be very light. You'll want to Gra very gradually pull the trigger and it ideally it should like surprise you when it goes off because that means that uh, you pulled so gradually that you didn't know when the trigger would go and you were able to keep your sights on the whole time okay next I'll cover uh, my speed reload technique so let's get this empty mag in there and uh, I have some snap caps. I'm just going to put this in my pocket if I can see. Here's the magazine release, remember? So what I what I do is I once I go empty, I don't like to break my grip on my dominant hand. So I'll, I break the grip on my support hand. I come and I press the uh, slide, the magazine release with my thumb. Let it drop out. Memorize where your uh, ready, uh, where your loader magazine is so you don't have to look down grab it insert it and then uh, hit the slide release with your thumb on your supporting hand so i'll try and i'll do that slowly so i was shooting i run dry okay all right, let's do that so i ran dry i hit the mag magazine release reach down get my other mag slime it up and then i hit the slide release with my with my support thumb reform your grip and then get back on target so I'll, I'll do that one more time without talking so ran empty go back on target so I just want to remind you that um, at the 15 yard line after the third drill you have to do a tactical reload and that means you'll still have one in the chamber but your magazine will be empty so your magazine, your slide will not come back, lock backward because you'll still have one in the chamber. And so you'll have to remember, okay, my magazine is empty. So I have to, even though the slide is not back, I have to drop it and I have to, you know, put in my pressure mask. <laughs> the strategy for getting the 364 points is that at the 7 and 15 yards, these are the these are the easiest shots so you want to have max score after the 15 at that point you would have 320 points 
And so you just need 44 more points to get the 364. If you don't want to go for the perfect score and just want to get the expert, after you get the 320 points, you just need to get 6 on each of these, which will give you 6 times 8, 48. So that will give you an expert. Most of the stuff I covered is like stuff I actually learned from uh, firearms instructors on YouTube. So I'll put some links to videos like that uh, in the description. And uh, hopefully I covered most of it. If not, you can ask, ask a question in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be reviewing some of this gear that I have uh, in later videos, hopefully. And um, I'll talk to you guys later if you stick around. Alright, bye.